first of all, it smells good. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. But honestly, really nice when you pull it out of the box for the first time. Let's get rocking. Today we're talking about one of the top five laptops that I recommend on my channel. When people come to me asking for laptop recommendations, I usually recommend one of five laptops. And if you're on a budget of around $1,400, then I would usually recommend the full HD version of this laptop. It is 100% sRGB color accurate and has terribly fast export times out of Premiere Pro. Now the variant that I'm reviewing in this video has only two differences, a 4K 100% Adobe RGB color accurate screen and 32 gigs of RAM rather than this. 16 gigs of RAM that the full HD model I usually recommend comes with. So yes, this uber color accurate screen is more expensive, but you're going to get just as good of performance out of the little brother. So keep that in mind. Okay, what laptop am I talking about? talking about the MSI Prestige 15, a laptop that is thinner and lighter than the MacBook Pro, exports out of Premiere Pro over a whole minute faster, and comes in an all aluminum build. Now, I don't merely stack this laptop up against the MacBook Pro. It gives the Razer Blade 15, Gigabyte Aero 15, Dell XPS 15, and more a run for all of their monies. Monies? Monies. Interesting. But before I continue to rant on, let's get into the specs. This all aluminum laptop weighs in at just 3.64 pounds and is 0.63 inches thick. The screen is a 4K matte display that can reach a screen brightness of 425 nits, has a color gamut range of 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB, and 94% DCI-P3 at an average Delta E of 0.96 which is very color accurate. It comes with an 82 watt hour battery, which will give you 7.5 hours of web browsing battery life and five hours of design and video editing according to my test. MSI promotes higher battery life, but during my tests, pushing this laptop to its greatest extents, um, it was not able to reach those manufacturer specs, similar to what Apple says about their claims about their 20 hour battery lives, when really we all know they're like eight to 10. The port selection on this laptop is suitable, coming with two USB 3.1 Gen 2s, two USB-C 3.1 display ports, an HDMI 2.0, a micro SD card slot, and a mic and headphone combo. Not really stoked about the micro SD card slot. I find that kind of odd, but otherwise I like the port selection a lot. The keyboard is soft, snappy, and quiet. No complaints here. It has good key travel, and great key placement. It is a nice and roomy setup that took me no time to get used to. The trackpad is large, it comes with great touch gestures, click sensitivity, and it is quiet as well. I am impressed by the trackpad. It is not as large as the new Dell XPS trackpad, but it is big. The laptop does come with a 720p webcam for any meetings you may have, and it does have a button to turn off the camera to avoid any cyber spying. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, gently press down on that like button and let me know how you plan on using this laptop by dropping a comment below. If you want more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future uploads. Okay, let's get back into the video. This laptop is well vented and has a large bottom vent and two vents along the back bezel of the keyboard deck between the hinges. We will look at the benchmark tests in just a minute, but I wanna discuss the thermals, noise, and component usage that was found during my tests. At idle, the fan kicks on quietly at around 37 decibels. During the Photoshop benchmarks I conduct, it kicks up to around 42 decibels. And during video editing exports, the fans kick up to around 46 decibels. Considering the speed of this laptop during export, that is really quiet. Here are some charts to check out the thermals and component usage of the MSI Prestige 15. The MSI Prestige 15 I am reviewing comes with the Intel 10th Gen Core i7-10710U with six cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Max Q with four gigs of GDR5 VRAM, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM upgradable to 64 gigs, and one terabyte of NVMe SSD. Jumping into the benchmark test, the MSI Prestige 15 is scored on the mid to lower end of the charts for single core performance and around the same for multi-core performance in Geekbench. This is due to the lower TDP on this mobile U processor. We are not able to get as much multi-core performance out of this CPU as we would like to, but that doesn't mean this laptop still doesn't pack a serious punch for video editing. Although this laptop is not my top pick for multi-core performance, I wanna show you why I am such a big fan of this laptop 
for creators such as video editors, graphic designers, photographers, and illustrators. In the Photoshop benchmarks, this laptop is able to beat out the latest Legion 5i with its i7-10750H high-performance processor and comes in just behind the Gigabyte Aero 15. Test for test in Photoshop is looking really solid as well. Here's the Photoshop benchmark to see how well a laptop can handle the most intensive tool in Adobe's design suite. If a laptop can perform well in Photoshop, it will handle InDesign and Illustrator with ease. Now onto the video editing tests. I'm going to take a nine minute 4K project with a total of 16,177 frames, including 7,240 motion design frames, and play it back in the timeline at full half and fourth quality to see how well this laptop can handle playback. During full quality playback, I saw a drop frame amount of 5,066. At half quality, we saw 24 drop frames during playback. And at fourth quality, we saw zero drop frames during playback. If you're editing with this laptop, I would recommend running it at half or fourth quality, and you won't even notice a glitch in your workflow. Now to render out the 7,240 motion design frames, it took five minutes and 49 seconds, a very respectable time for rendering. Now for the exporting test, I'm going to take a nine minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, and export it out of each of those at 4K and 1080p YouTube settings. For Premiere Pro, the 4K to 4K export was four minutes and 34 seconds, and the 4K to 1080p export was one minute and 23 seconds. DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export was 17 minutes and 35 seconds, and 4K to 1080p was eight minutes and 13 seconds. When I first ran these benchmarks, I thought I did something wrong. I couldn't figure out how this was possible, how a i7U processor could beat out the latest 2020 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I reran the test and got nearly the exact same results. If you're looking for a thin and light all aluminum laptop with fast 4K export times, 100% Adobe RGB color gamut range, cool temperatures, a quiet fan, and large trackpad, then I would be considering the MSI Prestige 15. If you don't have quite the budget for the 4K model, you should see only a slightly slower, if not the same export time out of Premiere Pro with the 16 gigs and full HD version of this laptop. That will save you a few hundred dollars. I will link both laptops in the description below for you to check out. Now, remember, if you do make a purchase through one of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want to watch more videos about the MSI Prestige, you can click or tap the screen here, or you can check out some more videos on my channel as well by clicking or tapping the screen there as well. Keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.